now all the animals are Oh, God, all the animals are coming. Uh, all right, Ozma, you come too. Ozma. Ozma, come on. All right. I am Shell Presto de Baggio. This is usually an art channel, but we got the Bones Reapers in today, so I figured I'd share that with all of you, and I'm looking for some inspiration for my next Beth Bexham's Bazaar art piece. All right, let's go into another expansion. Oh, chronoscope. I love the chronoscope ones. Or I should say I love the all time period ones. They aren't all called chronoscope. There were chronoscope sets in the uh, one and two, Reaper Bones one and two, probably three two, although we didn't get that one. Now, this is not a complete unboxing. We're not going to show a close-up of every single one because that would take so long. There are so many here. And again, because these are largely multi-part miniatures, which is a switch from last time, we'd have to put them together anyway. Some more dinosaur man aliens. Take them out of the box to show them, too. But the uh, in other words, sometimes you have to heat them up. Yeah. That one has some pretty bad bending at the ankles. But it still looks awesome. Not a futuristic sci-fi warrior there with wings on their wing on one side, it looks like. Or is that a communicator? As I said in the last video, uh, the plastic is firmer than in Bones 1 and 2. It's also gray, which is actually a huge improvement for anyone who's tried to paint the white ones. We've got Space Cowboy here. Oh, the, the gun barrel gun. severely bent on this. Yeah. But that's pretty common with the bones. These are actually not bent as much as the uh, previous ones. As I said, I think because the plastic is harder. Yeah, he, he does feel pretty sturdy. I'll say that. He looks great. Uh, a, little, a little more respectable than bluegrass. From Silverhawks? Yes. But anyway, uh, the way to resolve that is hit them with a heat gun or just put them in boiling water for a little bit, bend them back. Very interesting space commando types got robots. Classic robots look like uh, background droids in Star Wars or something ripped from Fantasy Star. A ton of robots in this set. Because everyone knows what Fantasy Star is, right? It's a cyborg that looks kind of like Deathlock. your data banks or whatever you want to to jazz up your terrain random terrain pieces definitely going to be making use of many of the terrain sets in here i feel like there there's more oh this this looks like the male version of alita's motorball outfit from the movie yeah to move down a little bit Very nice sculpt. Oh, Pip, come on, you're moving the camera. Go on, go on, buddy. Stay. It's a classic uh, Metropolis gynoid. Maria, was her name Maria in the movie? Yeah. Cool. Got that. There's lots and lots of terrain in this set. Got. I don't know what those things for parking are at Walmart. <laughs> things but for park. Oh. <laughs> lo yeah. Looks very uh, similar to those. Interesting. Alien. 
Reminds me. Oh, I think is he an ape? Like from Planet of the Apes? Yeah, it looks like it. No, actually, he looks a bit like one of those aliens from one of the races from the Alternity game. This one looks very the leader. Am I right in that one? Giant brain. Yeah, there's another giant brain alien here as well. Actually, take that one out of the pack to show you. Got some traffic cones and gas cans. By the way, we expect lots of criticism on this uh, unboxing video from people who have never watched the channel before, who are sure to watch it now. We did this without any planning whatsoever. In fact, I was surprised to get the package today. Some really cool sci-fi minis here. Ah, oh, they're probably yeah, about. 30. We have futuristic dinosaurs. Before we had the, yeah, the there, there, there were inner some, earth pellucidar. There were some in the other pack too. Space Mahar. I love him. He might be my favorite so far. Here's that alien sorceress chick that was in the bag before. Yeah. I I'm a 2D artist, sometimes digital, mostly traditional. I do pen and ink drawings, and Copic marker drawings, and watercolors. Is that zooming or focusing? Yep. Okay. Very cool. This guy looks awesome. This is like a power armored commando. These are about, I'd say, more into 32 millimeter scale, so they're actually, they would um, Hit, don't. go over most of my 40k miniatures, but so, some of them, especially the monsters, would be useful for that as well. All right, Pip, back up. This is a oh. and Kylo, almost warthog looking in the face. Dinosaurs. That's what we'll call them. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, this could be a robot, but it could also be, I think this is a Cav. Miniature Reaper has a game called Cav. About hit. smaller scale mechs. See some warping on the barrel, but no big deal. Alright, here's your classic, classic alien right there. <laughs> nice, simple. Three eye stalks. Alright, Pip, stop moving the camera, buddy. Of course, the... This is not helping me for the Bexham's Bazaar thing because that's medieval, but. More space dinosaurs. He even looks like Genghis Rex from Dinosaucers. It's an interesting little alien. Let me zoom in here. Kind of reminds me of that Twilight Zone episode. With the little, little tiny alien invaders that were actually humans from Earth. Dinosaucers. Spoiler. <laughs> Dino Saucers was one of my favorite cartoons as a kid, and now I'm thrilled because it just came on Amazon Prime after not being available anywhere. Alright, next thing. There's a large dragon I'm opening here with a uh, 
ruined wall section very similar to um, the Dragons Don't Share box set we would have got from uh, Series 2. And yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. I bite my nails. Yeah, it's ugly. Deal with it. Sorry. All right. I said I, I didn't have much interest in the chibis in the last video. It's true. I don't have much interest in the chibi humans. But oh my gosh, the chibi dragons are so cute. These are multi-piece, so I can't show you like what he would look like together without ripping him off the sprues. But look at that face. Is that face zooming? Look at that face. He's so cute. How could you not care about him? It comes with a little treasure chest. Move it down a bit so it's in the camera. I mean, down this way. Okay. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but here's a, a regular sort of dragon head missing, but you get an idea of that very large wingspan. I guess this is actually a wyvern. I don't know. It does have... Yeah, it's a wyvern, I guess. Oh, these look awesome. These are Spectre Warriors. Nazgul. Oh, yeah, I get... Alright, well, wait. Let's see how many there are. Before we go calling them Nazgul. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so three of them are missing. And there's one with a diadem or crown on. Now uh, the witch with the big uh, mace. It's obviously supposed to be the witch king. They're very nice. They would they would be good, very reasonable uh, Nazgul miniatures for a Lord of the Rings game. I'm gonna show this this wyvern here again because I'm really digging them. The wyvern is uh, in my mind a wyvern is just a dragon with the normal amount of. Uh, limbs, in other words, hind limbs and wings, as opposed to the more classic dragon that has uh, four limbs as well as wings. Oh, is this a giant turtle? Is that Gamera? Oh, yes, it is. Looks like it. I can't tell what this guy is. Okay, please stop walking underneath the camera. Go on, buddy. Go, go. Pip is our Australian Kelpie. He's cute, but thinks he's much smaller than he actually is. Oh, whatever this is comes with a... Giant familiar dog. Alright, so we've got a giant. I'm going to control the camera so that you have to lower it so it's lower in the can. There we go. Alright, so we've got giant torso, big, ah, oh, a no regular giant, a regular club would be bad <laughs> to be hit by from a giant, but he has a chain wrapped around it too. That's, that's me. And then he comes with a really mean looking dog, too. Look at the musculature on that animal. Very nice. It's like if Conan the Barbarian was a dog. Here's that large uh, turtle, multi part sea turtle. He has fins. Quite impressive sculpt. I've been saying that a lot because I'm actually quite impressed by this this assortment, even more so than the other two. Big thing obases. That's Algernon, our other cat. Alright. All Let's right. go back to the corset All right. for a little bit since we're 
started the core set in the last video, then got excited and jumped to the other sets. Is it some kind of... Oh, look at this fat piggy. This is actually a set of medieval villagers. Oops. Lady of the Night, perhaps. This looks like a rat beast thing. A florist print? Was it a flower? No, they're actually scrolls. Never mind. It has Peznen's glasses. Here's a rogue thief of some sort. A giant pot belly troll here. Bigger. He's oh, a nasty looking fellow. Looks a lot like the uh, old um, GW river trolls that they have for fantasy battles. Here's an angry housewife with a torch and a rolling pin. Executioner, headsman. Well, this is a quite respectable looking orc. Orc oh. hero of some sort, if there are such things. Tavern winch. And that's not all in this set either. Uh, very nice assortment of civilians, non adventurers. So we get this uh, wheelbarrow filled with pumpkins. Got your classic funny looking troll there with the silly looking face. We have to smash one of our heroes with a rock. Here's their new owlbear. There was an owlbear in the first first or second set. I'm not sure which one. It was a multi-part kit. Looks pretty similar, actually. Got more smaller goblin-y looking types in this. The smaller dragon. Oh, not that. Their heads don't look quite goblin-y. They're very, very tiny heads. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure either. Here's a new griffin. Multi-part model. Here's one of the wings of the griffin. Got a nice wingspan. Well, that's a... Very detailed looking figure. Don't quite know what it is. Is that a halfling? The face is very bizarre. It's like a halfling shriner. Is this still the corset? Yeah, this is there. still the corset. Oh, so this, awesome. is, this is a good value if all, even if all you got was a corset. Lower it a bit so he's in the, in the frame. There? Yep. Awesome looking female archer. Ah, oh, and what everybody has been waiting for, giant gorilla. Everybody knows that gorillas sell comics. Okay. Are they boomerangs? Ah. Uh, Are they? I can't tell. If... No, they're the they're, I... they're curved knives. And another giant gorilla. Multi-part. And a third giant gorilla. 
I'll take them out of the pack. This one has swords. Oh, there's a uh, Soren. Unless you can convince yep. me otherwise, that, that's Thorin. That's certainly movie Thorin. Oh, got some awesome terrain. There's a spire. It's another multi part tavern wench who's also a succubus or, or bat woman or something. My son is saying bye bye to Bear from Bear in the Big Blue House on the TV. No, go ahead. I'll open. Continuing corset. This a uh, nice sarcophagus. Here is the halfling of my youth. He got fruits in his bag and his scythe, little scythe for har harvesting. It's a girl. Oh yeah, it's a chick. I don't think she's a halfling either. No, she's not. She's kneeling. Yeah. Feet are on, showing through the back. Well, there's my embarrassing moment from the video. <laughs> A sacrificial altar. Okay, what, what are you opening out? The Dark Reach expansion? Uh, I'm on the Dreadmere. Um, my husband Mike's still on the corset. Okay, Dreadmere. Dreadmere, I thought was a very interesting concept. Uh, it was some sort of like uh, isolated settlement in the swamps. We should probably say that we're authors. <laughs> if you like this video, check out our books. AscensionEpoch.com <laughs> is an awesome looking knight. I think these are supposed to be vampire women. Female necromancers. This thing is just horrifying. Can't tell if that's a statue or if she's supposed to be coming out of the book, but either way, you can play that however you want. Very cool, though. Ooh. Uh, hideous, monstrous. <laughs> I wouldn't want to fight that. Interesting looking, I guess, dwarf. Dwarf cowboy. Almost looks piratey with the coat. Pimpy. Musketeery. Some uh, snake men. Again, from the corset. 
we're coming to the bottom of the corset. Um, we didn't show you everything, but as you can see, there's a ton of miniatures in there. Uh, well worth a hundred dollars. You're you're paying less than a dollar a miniature. Got a cart. Another wheelbarrow. Take a handful. More soldiers. Skulls on their shield. There's a definite sort of wizard sort of, of wizard lich there. It's like a definite Wizard of Oz Munchkin esque. Oh, very much. The... Yeah. Now that's the coroner right there. <laughs> yeah, take a handful. Here's one of the things I was most excited about from the Dreadmere set. There's a rowboat with a lot of pieces. There's a lantern on the yard arm there. Uh, oars. Obviously the one that got away and took your boat with it. Giant catfish. He's the reason that the boat's abandoned. Some sort of devil guy. Or if you're playing a Liberty Meadows RPG, that can be con. Headhunter. Which finder of some sort. And you got barrels and crates and stuff like that. Oh, I got winged, winged antelope dog. Towards me, can't see them. Pretty interesting. <laughs> There's a fishmonger, old lady fishmonger. Some eels in the bottom of her cart or snakes or whatever that is. Very interesting, um, weird figures. Oh, There's a giant alligator man to go along with the trend of dinosaur men and badger men and Ooh. Elephant Man and the other sets. Did we show the Snake Man? This is not from this set. This is from... Yep, I was showing the Snake Man before. Okay. There's something like a small purple worm, something like that, or a Graboid. Very small Graboid. Not more. Almost looks Wild West mixed with Medieval there. Yep, same with this. Crocodile Dundee type chick with the hand crossbow and the cutlass. Oh, this thing's neat. We got our evolving fish man here. And you get to be afraid of more than just the water. Now this thing brings back nightmares from XCOM 2, Terror from the Deep. Looks like a tentaculate. One of the brain things that turn your uh, XCOM soldiers into alien drones. Looks awesome though. Here, this is worth looking at opening. All right. Uh, the riding turtle. Got a cool raft. This way. This is an awesome miniature right here. Um, I 
sort of riding turtle. This would be great for my Alba Ludra 40k campaign. He's pretty cool. You got two, two stages of Creepy Frog. Frog Butcher with a lantern on his back. Weird alien pod things sculpted in purple translucent plastic. We're in the dark reach now. Sort of like elder things or um, flying polyps. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Is Dark Reach, I, I guess, is something like an Underdark? It says, Nilothilin is a large city that was carved into the sheer cliffs that overlook a bottomless pit so deep that not even the Dark Elves have plumbed its depths yet. Do you want to move that down towards me a bit? Oh. The necromancers that preside over Nilothilin have uh, assaulted numerous have been assaulted numerous times by other raiding dark elf houses but the city has never been taken using terra fortress ale troll is the home to the cold dark elves of house Le lament using terrible ice magic from the mythical winter kingdoms the elves of lament have risen to power in dark elf society here's something like a I was going to say something like a beholder, but it's actually more like a. I don't know if he actually flies. I was just clinging to that stalactite. It could be like a giant squig for an orc army. What? Oh, it's riding a crab. I wasn't sure what it was, but. It almost looks like a fraggle type creature. Is he riding a crab or is he. Oh, no, he's riding, riding a crab. Yeah. He's got little feet on top yep. of it. I like him. He's very interesting. And he might rival Space Mahar. More hostile sort of fraggle. What were they called? What? The evil fraggles. Oh, the frackles. Yes, the frackles. I believe this is some sort of fungus giant. I'm not sure what the... Or something like that. He's pretty cool looking. I would have taken him out. I can't tell what this thing is. Those underdark gnomes or the Vargir or the Darrow or something. The three footed something. Oh, that's very interesting. And there's. Is this a torso? No. There's three arms. That That's a creepy looking thing. You probably won't be able to get the third arm on. Everyone use your imagination for the third arm. I'd sure try. There's... <laughs> He's going for the third arm. Let's see if it stays on on camera. I think this is my first trilaterally symmetric miniature. That looks awesome. A great target for some Death Watch Marines to hunt down. And we've got a... Oh, this thing's nasty looking. Oh, wow. It's like some sort of rock turtle eagle. Oh, except it's got... 
crab arms. All right, now that the result of some alchemists, no doubt. That's starting to spur the artistic juices. This would be a displacer beast, right? That's what it looks like. Going after King. Got a tiny. I'm not sure what that thing is. <laughs> Mushroom woman, or is she just a regular woman with a mushroom hat? I'm not sure. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I think mushroom woman because she's got a, a bizarre looking face and a bizarre looking torso. Trio of creepy mushrooms at a Metroid. Super Metroid. One of them's got mouths. Center one. So as we mentioned before with this this whole um, box that we got, we paid about five hundred dollars. But it's, a, it's in terms of price per miniature, it's very good. Even if you don't want, even if you don't want most of the miniatures, um, uh, you're talking about around a dollar or less per maybe. Two dollars or less per miniature, uh, including some of the very large ones. We looked at some of the dragons and the dinosaurs and the, um, you know, elephant men and stuff like that. In this large cave spider. That very impressive-looking, elegant mushroom woman there, yeah. or at least as elegant as a mushroom can get. She's got some large mushroom hands. This is a very interesting piece. Drow Queen, her spider throne. You can zoom in on that. That's right, I forgot. What is it? Some drow get cursed and turn into half spider things? Yep, which we have from the other bones sets. I don't know what this thing is. I have to open it. This one's molded in black plastic, semi-translucent. Looks like a black pudding. Yes, it does, because there, there are some bones and some yeah. hammers in there. That's guess, pretty I awesome. I guess that's a black pudding, then. I um, have to very carefully paint the, the bones and the weapons. In the previous sets, we got a gelatinous cube. Oh, he maybe, dropped a piece of Maybe some other uh, puddings and molds and oozes, but that's our first black pudding. I really like the gelatinous cube. The gelatinous cube was awesome because you could like lift up the cube and see what was inside, which also made it easy to paint. The mushroom man. Yeah, Dark Reach is definitely an under dark themed range. Just have some crystals there. The smaller crystal. <sighs> Nearing the end. Here's another pudding. I'll take him out of the package. Sorry about the reflection. Oh, I don't know what this thing is, but. So, miniature black pudding. Creepy looking rock creature with tentacles. Someone on MeWe just 
made a drawing of that. What's that called? Because um, I said it reminded me of the barnacles from Half-Life. We are active on MeWe. I'm slash Shell Presto, I believe. He's a large crab type creature. Multi part. It's not worth taking him out of the bag because he would never stay together without glue. Oh, there's a cute mushroom creature. There are a couple of those already. Very cute. A dark elf of some sort, I think. Drow assassin girl. Yeah, one more each. Got some females in this set. And yet another drow assassin girl. Because all drow are assassins, right? All right, and that's it. That's the last of the very many minis in the bones four set. We did not actually buy all of them, but we came close to buying all of them. So, hope you enjoyed our very first uh, unboxing. If you do like medieval fantasy type stuff, please uh, check out my other videos. I do do some black and white old school RPG t style art of uh, medieval fantasy characters. I'm doing them from Bexham's Bazaar, and I've also got, uh, oh, next, this month, the first, uh, the Imps comic comes out in Bexham's Bazaar, too. So, medieval fantasy hilarity there. Also, ch check out our uh, Adventure and Superhero novels and short story collections. There will be a link at the end of the video. Don't Pres forget to like and subscribe. Presto and Mike, over and out. This is surely redundant, because obviously whoever made this awesome, awesome mini uh, already drew this in the concept art, so there's probably some really, really, really awesome uh, Wraith art sitting around in the Reaper Bones offices somewhere. But since this is an art channel, I figured I'd just go ahead and uh, do a really quick sketch of one of the minis to kind of give you a taste of what my channel's usually like. This is just a quick 20 minute sketch that I sped up the footage for. Um, this isn't particularly polished or anything, but I think it really speaks to the quality of the minis that I can be looking at a small two inch figure and see all the detail in it, like the, uh, you know, the, the links in the mail, and the nicks in the sword and everything so as to make a larger piece of art off of it that has a fair bit of detail. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little extra and I hope you'll check out my other artwork too. Uh, thanks for watching folks, hope you enjoyed this video, and most importantly hope you have an awesome day. Presto, over and out.